Hi, this is Dave Burkett, Lions beat writer for the Oakland Press, back with another edition of Lions Lowdown. It'll probably be our last one for the, uh, the spring, but we're gonna, we hope to make this a regular feature when uh, camp resumes in the fall. Uh, I want to leave you with three thoughts uh, for the summer, uh, just on the recently completed mini camp, five practices over three days down at the Lions Island Park facility. No pads, so it's real tough to, uh, to tell anything. But uh, the one thing that I think uh, I came away with is that if the Lions are going to do anything this year, John Kitten is going to be their quarterback. Uh, you know, it's, it, it wasn't so much that he, how well he played. I mean, he, he is, you know, I think he doesn't get enough credit sometimes in terms of his NFL skills. But uh, the two backups that the Lions have, Dan Orlovsky and Drew Stanton, are still a work in progress. Uh, Orlovsky looked pretty good the first couple days. Uh, Stanton struggled uh, the first couple days, and, and he looked better Thursday. But we have to realize that this is his first real NFL action. He missed all last season with a knee injury. Uh, but, but neither of those guys looks NFL ready at this point. So anything the Lions are going to do, any success they're going to have is, is with Kitten at quarterback. Now, it's, it's going to be interesting to watch come fall who, who emerges as that number two quarterback. Orlovsky would be ahead right now. Uh, but Stanton, like I said, it, it's way too early to write him off. He looked shaky at times. He, uh, he was inaccurate. Uh, he struggled to, uh, to stay consistent with his motion. But he looked better Thursday, and I do think he still has a future in the NFL. Um, remember, he's getting used to a new grip, the grip that Mike March taught him last year on the football. Mike March reworked all his mechanics, and, and I think that really played with him a little bit. It's different throwing on the sideline than it is uh, throwing in these live drills that he's doing. So don't write him off just yet. Uh, thought two is on the rookies. Uh, Gazder Sherless, the first round draft pick uh, out of Boston College, he looked real good at right tackle in some of the one on one drills that they were doing. Uh, again, it's tough to tell. You don't have pads on it this time, but, but he was going. He took a lot of the number two reps at right tackle, though I'd fully expect him to uh, pass George Foster at some point uh, in the fall and, and start uh, by the first game. Um, but but he, he has big hands, uh, he's a mauler, he gets on people, and he has a real, real aggressive mean streak to him, and I think that's something that Rod Marinelli likes. A couple of the other rookies that, that really stood out and should be able to make an impact in their first year, Kevin Smith, the running back, he runs hard, he cuts at full speed, uh, the Lions like what he can do with the ball. Uh, and Cliff Averill, actually, he, uh, he looked good in some of those one-on-one -on -one drills, too. He has, he has great speed coming off the edge. I think you might see him as a situational pass rusher, able to cause some havoc off the edge. Uh, Jordan dies on the second round pick, the linebacker out of Colorado. Um, real great sideline to sideline speed. The one thing that I'm a little bit worried about him, and I know he's battled this his whole career, is just size. Uh, there was a play in Thursday's practice where, where he kind of got engulfed by a couple defenders, and I can see that happening uh, at times this year when, uh, when you get the pads on and he's got a couple 300 pounders coming at, at him. But for now, he's still number two on the depth chart behind Paris Line, and he's going to play a lot this year, and uh, really he might be a key to the Lions defense. And then the last thing, the, the, the last thought that I want to leave with is, is Kelvin Johnson. Uh, you know, he, his rookie season was, it didn't live quite up to par last year. He had some injuries. He missed a couple games. Uh, Mike Martz didn't utilize him right in the offense, but he's a heck of a player. He's going to be a Pro Bowl player, if not this year, then, then in the, the near future. Uh, he made one catch uh, yesterday where he just went up and, and, and took the ball away from uh, one of the defensive backs. Um, he just has some natural skills to him. And, and I really do think, uh, looking back, I know a lot of people have banged on the Lions for taking him over Adrian Peterson or Joe Thomas, but he, he really does have the, the skill set that he could be a, a future Hall of Famer one day. Uh, again, that's, that's going to be it for Lions Lowdown today, but please check back in the summer. Uh, this, this is going to be a regular feature here on the OaklandPress.com and our YouTube account.